Hey folks, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the floor of my Star Wars room. Here I am, I'm just on the floor. Um, just sort of going through a few things and uh, decided I want to do a little video on this. Uh, this is a folder that's been updated a lot over the years. It uh, holds sort of merchandise and catalogues. Um, for almost 20 years I've uh, kept catalogues. I've also got movie tickets. Um, it's just toy catalogues from junk mail and um, just things like that, bit pull outs from newspapers and stuff like that. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So let's take a look. So we've got some movie tickets. Um, ticket sales. One of the dogs has come in to say hello. So I've got, still got my ticket stuff from episode one, uh, episode three. I do have my episode two tickets somewhere back from back in uh, 2002. There are. Uh, in probably one of my other folders, but you know, Rogue One, The Last Jedi. We've got sort of Phantom Menace toy catalogue from Target back in '99. It's the old Hasbro toy and game guide that they used to pack in with all the bits and pieces. This is the back of a bookstore catalogue. Um, just had Star Wars on the back page. I think the rest of the catalogue's in there still. Some other bits and pieces. There's a big W, still a big chain uh, store here. Episode 1 coming to VHS 25 Darks. Yep, he wants to, he wants to sniff out the toys. So it's more Phantom Menace, Toys R Us catalog. I think that's yeah, that's Maya. Toys R Us. So the, obviously the cutout in front of the back of one of the diecast ships from back in the nineties. I've still got that Y wing. I never did get any others. I had a friend that got all of them. Um, I just never got them. I was I was the figure collector. He was the ship collector. Um, so we both had very different collections, even as kids. And there's some of those mail away subscribe things. They send you out a different thing every month. More Toys R Us stuff. And we got some episode two goodies. Unleashed figures were starting to come out. Um, you know, I went through a phase where I didn't really like these episode two figures, but um, I've uh, recently sort of got them all out and displayed them all because throughout all the episode two displays where I've sort of got all my Geonosis arena, they actually display really nicely. So um, I'm actually going to go back and get a few that I've missed, like I never got the Shark T. Um, I do have a lot of them now, but there's a few I'd like to go back, and I, I do want to go back and find that Anakin speeder. So there's just a few of those things that, um, you know, I skipped a lot of them when I was young, but um, I'd like to go back and get them now. There's the Unleashed figures that were $40, aimed at collectors. I've only got one of them, which I bought at Celebration. You know, just little cutouts. This was one thing that was in a catalogue that I cut out. And these were good times. So I like to reminisce a lot looking through these. More episode two catalogues. I don't have any of the beasts, so I'd like to go back and get them. So we've got some Revenge of the Sith. Right, that's probably the one I've got least of, is some Revenge of the Sith stuff. Um, probably because my age, I was sort of 18 and... Oh, 17, 18, I probably wasn't um, as deeply into it as I was when I was, you know, 14, 15. But um, I did get a couple of bits and pieces, so. Now we're starting to get a little bit more recent with the 3D re release of episode one. The, Camp, the Return of the Vintage Collection started showing up. We've got Grievous and the Sand Trooper. The three packs came out. Some Lego sets. 
even some Harry Potter stuff was still out then. That's about to make a re return. Blu-rays have just come out, so this is probably 2011. This is probably 2011, 12. I was having a lot of fun with collecting some great stuff. through this a bit quicker well, that's sort of 2011 2012 around the 3d release now we're starting to get into episode 7 it's that sort of territory big jacks figures Rebels. Oh, I've kept a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Disney Infinity. Sort of, I still really want to get those uh, toy box figures that Disney are doing now that are sort of based on the Infinity look. Um, I don't have any yet. They we don't have Disney stores. So here's my uh, receipt for Force Friday. <laughs> Um, the first Force Friday for uh, episode seven. Um, it's a funny, funny thing on here. Let me just pop this out for a moment. Has got the time at the top there, but um. So yeah, I spent spent over three hundred bucks. There's the time. Store open at midnight. I was checking out at five past five minutes. I had everything. So I'll just take that one back in there. That, that'll be good to reminisce if the receipt doesn't fade. I know receipts sort of sort of do, but yeah, episode seven goodies. We start to see it blending into Rogue One stuff shortly. There was a lot of Episode Seven stuff. So yeah, we at least I still get the mail. I check it every week. Um, check the mailbox every week. Make sure there's any Star Wars stuff in the catalogs. Um, if there is, I, I cut it out. No, it was a lot of Episode Seven stuff. I sort of forgot how far this went. starting to get some Rogue One. Episode 7 is still a big thing. Now we're getting into some Last Jedi. Still going. A lot of same stuff in here, but I, I like it all the same. Just thought this would be a good thing to share around. I think that's just about caught up. Yep, that is. I've uh, got pages ready to fill um, for the next lot. But I hope you enjoyed having a look through this, guys. Um, yeah, just wanted to make a little quick video that ended up being close to 10 minutes. So <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching, guys. May the force be with you.